Welcome back. The year 2000 will bring new international prospects for students studying culinary skills at the Southland Polytechnic. I spoke with Manager of Hospitality and Catering Scott Richardson earlier today. Um, as of next year, year 2000, we'll actually be offering the City and Guilds International Qualification in Cookery uh, alongside our other um, cookery qualification which is the National Certificate in Hospitality Cookery Level 2 and 3. And the process to date to actually get to that starting point, shall we say, for next year is that um, cookery has been offered in New Zealand as a qualification of course for quite a number of years and we started off um, basically in the 70s doing the London City and Guild qualification in cookery and that was the standard in New Zealand. In the early 80s it changed to New Zealand certificates in cookery 751, 752, 753 and that's the current qualification available um, this year. As of next year that expires uh, because the government have changed their new unit standards on, in cookery so basically the polytechnics had to look at what they're actually going to, to offer or deliver. As this is something that will be internationally recognised, how will it differ from what's already in place at the moment? OK, it's a three-tiered thing. Currently this year the students uh, for their 751 series qualification uh, complete their, their work here on site. They then have to do some practical assessments which are supervised by the, the chef tutors. Then they sit a nationally set examination and that's done for the three papers they do. Changing to next year to the New Zealand qualification and to the national certificate it will actually be uh, competency based, meaning that every single um, task or skill they complete will be assessed in a lifelike situation. So there's actually no full written paper at the end of the qualification, so it's basically done on can you do the task, if you can, yes you can then get the, the credit for that unit of work. With the international part of it, it will actually be still some written qualifications and the practical assessment. So the students will be doing a combination of both of those types next year. As this might be a little different from what's happening at other polytechs around the country, do you think it will encourage students to come to South and Polytechnic? Uh, it definitely will. Because of the international focus of the qualification, um, it is offered in a number of other countries around the world. That's why it's called the International City and Girls Qualification. Um, but if you look at the average student who studies in a polytech environment, once they've got their qualification behind them, most of them do try and do an OE and of course that is into the UK. Um, because as I said with the history of it being old London City and Guild, so they've just got rid of the London and got the international focus, it will give them more recognition when they go into places like London or the UK to actually work. So that will be the advantage to actually them studying here at Southland Polytech to get that international focus.